Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today is my February favorites, which is terrifying because I cannot believe that it is already March 2016 and I graduate in May. Like I graduate pretty much in like two months, which is like so scary but so exciting, which reminds me of my first favorite, which is that I was accepted to the law school that I really wanted to go to. So that's just really exciting news for me. I don't really know if anyone else cares, but that just made my month, so yeah, uh, that was my first favorite of the February month. And now I'll get on to actual beauty favorites, so let's just get right into the video. I don't have like a ton of products, they all kind of fit in this little bag, but I thought that I would share them anyway. And I don't really have an order I'm going in, so I'm just going to kind of pull things out of the bag as I go. So I guess we're going to start with lip products. <laughs> and I have a couple different ones. The first one is the NYX Liquid Lipsticks, the Lip Lingerie ones. And I only have it in one color. It is number four, Ruffle Trim. And it is just a gorgeous, like, ready nude. Like, there's a bit of red to it. And the brush is just so good. Um, like the applicator, it's like kind of long and flat and it just really gets the color on there well. These definitely dry much more matte than like their liquid suede ones, which I guess they weren't supposed to dry matte, but I feel like they were marketed like they were going to be matte and then they were not and they were not transfer proof. But this is transfer proof, not super drying. It does fade off the lips quickly, not quickly, but after a few hours. So it's not like a Stila Stay All Day type of liquid lipstick, but it definitely lasts a good few hours and is transfer proof, which is all I can really ask for, and they're super comfortable to wear. I used this in a Get Ready With Me, which I will share so you can kind of see it in action. But yeah, so that is my first one. And then I tried two more matte lip products, and these are the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks. I have them in two shades. I have one in the color Daringly Nude, which is just a nice nude color. It's actually what I have on my lips today. And I just really love this. They're super comfortable to wear. They're matte without being like super drying. And I feel like this month I've had some good luck actually finding some nude colors that look decent on me because that's really hard for some reason. But this one has enough of like the brownie pink in it to look good on my lips. So loving that. And I also picked up the color all fired up which is just clearly a hot pink color uh it is well it seemed like spring for a few days and now it's back to winter but it is almost spring so i definitely wanted to pick up something bright and fun for that season and so i decided to pick this up this one i like better than the nude one even it lasts longer but it just looks so nice and it's so soft but like so pigmented and i just these lipsticks are so good and I used this in a get ready with me also, so I will link that as well because maybe you want to see how it looks. Moving on from lips, I will go ahead and do some face products. This I picked up only about a week ago. It's the Rimmel Lasting Finish with Comfort Serum 25 Hour Foundation. I picked this up because it was on sale for $5 at Walgreens, which is cheap, and I'm pretty sure that it is only like 7 anyway. I picked it up in the lightest shade because I am a ghost. So yeah, anyway, it's kind of like a gel consistency. It has a pretty good amount of coverage. The one thing I will say though is that it sinks into pores if you don't use a pore minimizing primer. So I would definitely use a pore minimizing primer with this and I only apply it using a beauty blender I tried with a brush and I didn't like that either. And it sounds like I don't like this, but I really do because this is the only foundation I have found that does not get oily on me throughout the day and I barely even notice it's there. I don't get the heavy feeling. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is about it. I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually testing out a new product. And if that review is already up, I will link it. This is the Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy uh, gel and foundation. Anyway, and now I'm holding a beauty blender. Well, oh my god, I'm a mess. I have another concealer product. And this one is one that everyone talks about it seems like and I was super late to the party but it is the NARS creamy radiant concealer I 
love it. I have it in the shade Vanilla. This is what I have on today. It is gorgeous. This is the perfect color for me. Um, it lasts all day. It looks luminous, but like still, like it just, it's just so good. And I finally understand. I cannot even explain. I thought the hype was way too real on this, but I just decided to pick it up anyway. And it just is amazing. I can't even, can't even say what is so good about it. It just looks so good and lasts all day. And now I'm repeating, but just NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. It's finally mine. And another face product. It looks like all I have been trying this month are face things, but this is a Kula, I think is how you say it. Uh, SPF 30 Unscented Mineral Sunscreen Matte Tint Natural BB Cream. So this is about a million things apparently, but all I know is it's great. It smooths out my pores. It keeps me pretty matte throughout the day. I use it as a primer. This is just from my Birch Box. Um, and I am definitely considering actually purchasing a full size of this. So yeah, that's just been a favorite. Next, I have the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. I This is in the shade Taupe. It's the lightest shade. I don't have it on today because I didn't contour or anything really. But when I've been contouring, I have been using this. It It's so good, like for pale skin especially, because you don't get that harsh line of like, ooh, that is... That's something, and it's not super like dewy or creamy anything, it's like liquid concealer basically, so it still works great on oily skin, and I have just been really liking this. Um, there's not really much else I can say, it just is, it's great, it's a great color for people with pale skin, and it lasts all day, and it's super easy, I just blend it out with a beauty blender, and I don't have to worry about it, so that's pretty good. And next I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I have mine in the shade Chocolate, but it is just the typical brow pencil, so like super skinny. Um, I should probably actually get a darker shade because this is way too warm tone for my eyes. You've probably seen if you've seen in videos, but I'm just going to use it up anyway. Um, and it has a little spoolie on the other end, and I just really like it. It gives me really defined um, brows. I can really go in and get the shape. Um, this is the first kind of brow product I've used that is like this skinny, like Anastasia Brow Wiz type feel. So that is it for the makeup. Now I just have a few tools and then we are done and we can go off into March and see what happens in March. What's wrong with me? I'm like way too excited for this day. Like, I don't know. And next I just have this beauty blender which I just used today and it's black and it's a beauty blender and it just is classy so you know I just it's a favorite you know the inner majors we're all black my soul is black just I just love this beauty blender <clears throat> and lastly I used two of these today so they're dirty but they are the Wet n Wild brushes, and I'm on a manhunt. I'm going to find the rest of the brushes in this collection. I have the flat foundation brush. I don't know why I bought that, because I don't like flat foundation brushes. But these three are so good. Um, this one for eyeshadow, it just places color so well, and you can just like sweep it on really quick. And this is, they don't have names on the brushes, but this is the large shadow brush, I believe. And I found this at Walgreens, and I love it. Then the angled liner brush, um, this is amazing. It's great, I like to use it for eyeshadow um, when I line with eyeshadow because it like gives you so much color payoff where like, cause it's so dense and tiny and yeah, and I'm pretty sure it was like 99 cents. And like they're just beautiful, like white, just uh, so nice. And my favorite brush of the collection that I've tried so far is the Flat. I think it's just like a multi-purpose brush, but it's basically just a flat top brush, and I use it for foundation, um, pretty much, yeah. I basically use it for liquid foundation, and it is just so soft, and I love that it's pink, and just, it's so good. I love these brushes. So that concludes these February favorites. I hope that you had a great month of February, I hope that you have a great month of March, and yeah, so... 
thank you for watching and I don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!